Buenas tardes, clase. Today we are going to learn about adjectives, learn some vocab for some new adjectives, and just some rules that are around them. But first you probably wonder, what is an adjective? Well, hopefully most of you have covered that, but for the benefit of those of you that haven't, you need to know this. Adjectives describe nouns. Okay? So... They are the words that are descriptive. I like to put it this way. If an adjective or if a word can fit in this blank, the blank duck right here, it's an adjective. So I could write the yellow duck. Yellow would be an adjective. The fluffy duck. Fluffy is an adjective. The big duck. The big is an adjective. The... Whatever. Whatever fits in there, that's an adjective. Okay, so adjectives describes noun. describe nouns. So, it, just like the articles, adjectives are going to match the gender of the nouns that they describe. Alright, so match gender. So, if the noun is a male noun, then the adjective will be male. If the noun is a female noun, the adjective will be female. Okay? Also, in Spanish, adjectives usually, not every time, but almost always, they will follow the noun. So, that means they'll actually come after the noun. All right? So, if I was talking about a tall guy, I would say el chico alto. El chico alto. Okay, alto right here, that means tall. So, alto comes after chico, and you notice that it ends in an O, because chico is masculine. All right. Likewise, if I was saying the tall girl, I would say la chica alta. Okay. So, again, the adjective alta is going to come after the noun. And then it's going to end in an A because it is feminine, just like the noun. But as you know, not every single adjective is going to be ending in O or A. So let me teach you some of the extra rules. Okay, we're still talking about adjectives here. Let's look at a few of the extra rules. Okay, if an adjective ends with an E, if it ends with an E, then it will match both genders. Okay, so for example, the word for patient is paciente. So if I write el chico paciente, oops, let me erase that so I can have some better handwriting here. Be a good example for you guys. All right, el chico paciente, that means the patient boy, okay? As you can see, paciente ends with an E, so we're just going to leave it like that. If I wanted to describe a patient girl, I would say la chica paciente. Again, so paciente ends in an E. We just leave it that way. So if the adjective ends with an E, it will match both genders. You don't have to do anything with it. Another rule about adjectives is if it ends with a consonant, if it ends with a consonant, then it will also match both genders. Now, this is not very common. You don't often see 
adjectives that end in a consonant. In fact, I'm trying to I'm going to look really quickly at your vocab sheet and see if there's any that I have. Um I actually don't see any on there. So I'll just teach you one that I know. But this rule is not going to be one that um, you're going to be too concerned about. But if you wanted to say the word phenomenal, in Spanish it's fenomenal. So a phenomenal boy would be el chico fenomenal. All right. That is ending with a consonant, so we just leave it as is. All right, and then um, la chica fenomenal. Again, that is ending with an L, so we're just leaving it as is. However, if it ends with a consonant, matching both genders is what most commonly happens. Every once in a while, though, um, you might just add an A to become, to make it become feminine. Okay, so, I'll, here. Every once in a while, if it ends with a consonant, if it ends with a consonant, Add a to become feminine. Okay, this is not super common, and I will just teach you as we go for these ones. Um, there is one on our list, on our vocab list for this week, that is like this. I'll teach you that one. It is hardworking. So, el chico trabaja. This means the hard-working boy. All right? And then the hard-working girl would be la chica trabajadora. Okay, so we added this A at the end. Again, this is not super common. I will teach you whenever that's going to happen. For now, I think this is one of the only ones that you're going to have to worry about. Okay? So now we're going to just look at some vocab adjectives for you to learn. All right, so we're going to look at some vocab. All right, here we go. First one, alto, alto, which means tall. And bajo. Oh, and you know what? I'm actually going to write it like this so that you know. If I write this second thing over here, that means you can convert it to an A for the feminine part. So let's actually back up for a second and add it up here. Alto for a boy or alta for a girl. There we go. So alto means tall and bajo means short. Then we have bonito or bonita, which means pretty. And then castaño or castaña for someone that has brown hair. So it's like a brunette. Okay, and then corto or corta, which would be short, but specifically in length. All right, so this short up here, bajo, is in height. So if someone is short in their height, you would say bajo. If someone is short in their, if, if something is short in length, you would say corto. So let's go ahead and review each of these. Alto, bajo, bonito, 
castaño corto. We're going to continue with our vocab here. Okay, del, oops, del gado or delgada would be thin. Um, feo or fea would be ugly. Fuerte, which ends in E. Oh, here's one that ends in an E. Um, I messed this before. So this is going to stay the same for both genders. Fuerte means strong. So el chico fuerte or la chica fuerte stays the same. Okay. Gordo or gorda is fat. Grande stays the same for both genders, and that means big or large. Okay. And then guapo or guapa means good looking. All right, let's repeat each of these one more time. Delgado, feo, fuerte, gordo, grande, guapo. All right, one more um, slide of adjectives. All right, here we go. Last little bit here. Largo or larga means long. Moreno or morena means having, it's, it's describing someone that has both dark hair and dark skin is moreno. Okay. Pelirrojo. Pelirrojo or pelirroja is a redhead. And pequeño. With the ñ, can't forget that tilde, or pequeña, means small. And then last but not least, we have rubio, or rubia, would be a blonde, a person that is blonde. All right, let's repeat each of these. Largo, moreno, pelirrojo. Pequeño, rubio. All right, good job. I, I think that's where we're going to stop for today. So make sure you memorize those rules on adjectives and come to class prepared to use all of these words. Hasta luego.